And to give us more insight on what it takes to make it in the cutthroat fashion industry, I spoke to one of the most enduring women in high fashion, Vera Wang. I started off by asking her why she was inspired to start her own business. Well, I think in my heart of hearts, I always wanted to be a fashion designer. But as luck would have it, when I graduated from college, my father refused to pay for me to have any more education. So he said, if you really love fashion, prove it to me. Go get a job. And like any good Chinese daughter, I did. Um, Vogue was my first job, and I was very, very lucky to have a job there. Everything I've learned, um, and a lot of my training, my eye, my background has come from my years at Vogue. And I think working for Ralph Lauren was a privilege. Um, in all honesty, when you work for a man that's so decisive, so consistent, so brilliant, it's bound to, or hopefully, to influence how you view your own career. And so I was very fortunate to have two really great careers at both of these institutions. You turned what was a single bridal store on Madison Avenue in New York into this billion dollar lifestyle empire. If you could credit your success to just one thing, what would that be? I would think hard work. Um, also a very Chinese trait. <laughs> um, in all fairness, I was driven by passion. I think whenever I speak to young people, I always try to instigate in them an understanding that if you really feel some, for something, if you really love something, you're going to succeed far more easily. One of the things uh, that I found extremely fascinating about you is that you and your career have consistently been a risk taker. In fact, I think one of the biggest risks you took was turning the traditional white bridal gown into pink, yellow, green, even black. Um, what drove you to take such risks? Well, I will say I am fairly fearless, although it doesn't come without a price. But creatively, um, when you work in a certain genre, and I work in ready-to-wear as well as bridal, but I think we're very celebrated, obviously, for the dress for the woman's most important day of her life. So I have to say that trying to keep that fresh, trying to keep that new, trying to keep myself creative, and trying to envision bridal as a whole nother um, form, trying to envision bridal as a whole other form of self-expression for not only myself as a designer, but for the bride. Um, I've taken big risks, like black dresses, nude dresses, pink dresses. Um, color's one of the ways I can, for someone who works in black and ready to wear, color's one of the ways that I've really been able to distinguish our bridal collections mm -hmm. through the years. But it's way more important than that to me. For, in reality, I'm really a designer who does bridal gowns. I'm not a bridal designer. And because of that, I've been able to be, I've been able to have real freedom in what I do. And I don't feel any parameters um, in which I have to define myself within. Talk to me about the women in your life. Who were the women that really helped you achieve success? And how did they do it? I think obviously I would start with my mother who was very much of a fashion icon for me. I know a lot of people say that, but she really was an extraordinary woman who lived an extraordinary life in extraordinary times. I mean, she, um, she came to America and raised us here. And because of that, she had both a Western influence and her Chinese background. So no question I've been influenced by that. But my mother was um, one of the wisest women I know, not only in terms of style, but in terms of life. And she'd say to me, you know, every age has its style, its taste. Every kind of woman is beautiful in her own way. These are pretty sophisticated tenets way back then. So that very um, democratization of fashion, of style, of beauty was something she embraced very early on in her life and passed on to me. Um, I think some of the other women that have influenced me have certainly been um, Anna Winter to a very great degree because of her intelligence, um, her energy, her passion for not only fashion, but for life in general. Also my daughters, because through their eyes, I see youth and I see this generation. And that's important too. For a designer to always stay relevant, I think is one of the most important aspirations we all face. The women who have worn Vera Wang designs and clothes, they really read like the who's who in the White House, the music industry, 
uh, in Hollywood. How important is that celebrity factor to your brand? I think the celebrity factor for our brand has been enormous. It did not start out that way. And I somehow I fell into that very early on. And from there on in, it sort of blossomed. Um, I've been very, very fortunate to collaborate with some of the most talented women in the world. And for not only weddings, but for their red carpet moments. And I think um, the ability to have worked with all of these women, each in their own right, an artist, um, it's been part of my incredible training. You were born in New York, but your parents were from Shanghai in China. Yes. Does East meet West in your line of work, or does it not? I think that for me, the work ethic, um, the desire to succeed, the um, devotion, dedication to whatever craft I'm trying to pursue has been something that's incredibly, markedly Asian. And for me, that stayed with me my whole life. I think the freedom of being an American and looking at the world with this sort of very broad perspective has also influenced me. It's given me the courage to look at things in my own way and to be able to really believe in myself. So I think that East-West, not only stylistically, but emotionally and intellectually, has been a very big deal, yes. What advice do you have for young women who look up to you as a role model and seek to be the next Vera Wang? I always encourage young women to work for someone they admire. If you can possibly work for a mentor or someone that you really believe in or you aspire to be or you admire their work, that is the best training you can get. Somebody is actually paying you to learn. You're going to have a lot of women knocking on your door tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be thrilled. I think that um, young women today are privileged with so much information and so much of a future. I mean, there's such a broad world out there for them. And that didn't really exist for me so many years ago. But now I think the sky's the limit. And perhaps it's a century of women as well. With more women leading both companies and countries today than ever before, it's not just the century of women, but also the century of change. For more on our signature series, Women at Work, please visit our website, cctv-america.com. There you can also see Vera Wang tell us who influences her creativity the most. That's cctv-america.com.